Greetings from Washington. I'm Secretary of Labor Hilda Solis. I'm so glad to have this opportunity to thank the merchant, mariners, shipbuilders, longshoremen, and affiliated unions who make our maritime industry strong. I want to give a special shout out to President Sacco and Vice President Winter for your outstanding leadership. The 100,000 members you represent are fortunate to have you at the helm. Your advocacy is making an enormous difference for the middle class workers who labor in our ports and build and supply our flag vessels. I'm incredibly proud of the contributions the merchant mariners have made to our commerce, our national defense and vital humanitarian missions around the world. Whether bringing supplies to Haiti to alleviate suffering after the earthquake or delivering grain to foreign ports to alleviate famine or serving as our fourth arm of defense in times of emergency. You represent the best of America's labor movement. This meeting comes at a critical time. I know the recession hit the maritime industry hard, but we've now created more than 3.7 million jobs over the last 24 months. Our recovery is growing stronger, and you played a critical role in educating Congress about the millions of jobs generated by American ports. President Obama understands if we're going to export products, not jobs, we need to make major infrastructure investments in our ports to keep pace with our rapid trade growth. Even in these difficult partisan times, we'll continue to make the case on Capitol Hill and to the American people that these investments are in our vital national interest. And as we make that case, we'll continue to stand up against attacks on the rights of organized labor. In states across this country, our opponents are waging attacks on working people at the worst possible time. They say that given the state of the economy, we can't afford unions right now. I say they got it backwards. President Obama feels the same way. That's why I continue to speak out against those who want to use the financial crisis as an excuse to take this country backward by attacking collective bargaining rights. That's the wrong way to go. When workers have a voice, their workplaces are safer, they are more productive, and their families are more secure. In places like Wisconsin and Ohio, the labor movement is fighting back and defending the unions that built America's middle class. President Obama understands that labor unions are not the cause of America's problems. They are part of the solution. Working together, I know we can build a stronger America that's built to last. So to the MTD or affiliates and your port maritime councils, I want to say thank you for fighting for working people in America. We're counting on you in the months ahead. Please keep up the great work and have a productive board meeting.